how to add mods to Minecraft 1.20. Mods are one of the coolest things about Minecraft. The fact that you can customize the game and change anything you want about it. How do you install them? Well, first things first, it's worth noting that we're going to be installing Forge mods here. There's another mod loader called Fabric, and you'll notice that mods usually support one or the other. In some cases, mods will support both, but usually it is one or the other. The reason we're going with Forge here is because it is currently more popular than Fabric, even though Fabric has been getting much more popular over the years and could possibly surpass Forge one day. It hasn't quite yet. So with that, we're going to be doing Forge, but we are going to have a Fabric tutorial. It should be coming up later, so be sure to subscribe for that. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and talk about how to install Forge in Minecraft 1.20, because that's the first thing we need to do. If you go to the second link in the description down below, that will take you here. This is our in-depth guide for Forge, and a 1.20 guide will be here once you get here. But nevertheless, this truly goes over everything, including how to troubleshoot and fix issues. Because YouTube doesn't like when we go off on tangents covering specific issues, we do have all of that outlined on the website. That way, if you do have an issue, we have got you covered here. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and once you're here, click on the yellow Download Forge button. This will take it to Forge's official website where you want to select 1.20 up here at the top and then click on 1.20 again. Sorry, at the left-hand sidebar, select 1.20 and then click 1.20 again. Once you see MC, Minecraft 1.20 here, come under download latest and click installer. That will then take us off to add focus where stop, don't click anything on this page whatsoever. Just wait about 10 seconds. Then after about 10 seconds, click the red skip button in the top right. That will then start Forge downloading. While that's downloading, have a message from our company, Simple Game, hosting at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash sgh. There you'll be able to get an amazing 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server where you can add Minecraft mods to it. You can even install mod packs with just one click by going through our easy one-click mod pack installer. But even if you don't want a mod pack and you want to create a Forge server yourself and add just a few mods to it, that's super simple and easy to do at Simple Game Hosting. Literally, you just select that you want a Forge server and you're good to go. You add your mods and done. So making a modded server doesn't have to be complicated. That's what we do at Simple Game Hosting. We make Minecraft server hosting simple. So go check it out at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown.xyz slash sgh to set up a modded or vanilla or a plugin server. We support it all in Minecraft 1.20 for you and your friends. Nevertheless, we've got Forge downloaded. You may need to keep Forge in the bottom left or save it in the middle of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. It really just depends on whichever browser you have. But once you've done that, we need to download some mods. Now we're going to be installing two mods in this video, Journey Map and Biomes of Plenty. Both of these are linked in the description description down below, but we also have a link to Curse Forge, where you will find all the most popular Minecraft mods, and you can sort by version here and selecting 1.20 in the left-hand sidebar. That will then give you all the mods that are updated 1.20. Just make sure that they are for Forge as well. We only can install Forge mods using this tutorial. Nevertheless, Journey Map, we can go here and click on the Download button, and then it will take us to Journey Map's page on CurseForge. Once you're here, click on Files. You want to find the Journey Map 1.20 version for Forge. As you can see, Game Version 1.20, Mod Loader Forge. We want this top one here. So click the three dots and click Download File. The demo will then begin after a few seconds. And once it's downloaded, we'll move on quickly to Biomes of Plenty. This is an amazing Biomes mod. And just like Journey Map, click the Download button. Just like Journey Map as well, the process is the same. We want to make sure we're getting the 1.20 Forge version. Biomes of Plenty, by the way, only supports Forge. Click download after clicking the three dots and the download will begin. We want to repeat this process for Terra Blender as well. Why do we need Terra Blender? I thought you said we were installing two mods. Well, we technically are, but Terra Blender is required for Biomes of Plenty to work, so we'll need to get that mod as well. Once we have Terra Blender downloaded, we can get these mods installed. So there we go, Terra Blender, Biomes of Plenty, and Journey Map all downloaded, all for Forge 1.20. These are going to be going to your downloads folder, so go ahead and get them from your downloads folder and drag them to your desktop. Once these are on your desktop, we're going to be starting off with Forge, kind of leaving our mods to the side because Forge is how we actually can use the mods. So to do that, right click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. That will then open up the mod system installer for Forge. But if you don't have Java there, what do you do? Well, you need Java 17. And luckily in the description down below, we have a link to our complete guide on getting Java 17. It covers everything, troubleshooting issues. It's the breakdown way. We make the most in-depth guides out there and this covers everything. Once you've got Java 17, you may need to run the jar fix. And what this is going to do is take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, but only run this after you've got Java 17. And then you'll be able to open up 
the mod system installer for Forge. Once you're in Forge's installer, all you've got to do is click on install client and it click OK. Now there are two reasons this could fail. One, if you've never played Minecraft 1.20 before, it won't work. You need to go play Minecraft 1.20, no mods, no Optifine, nothing like that. Just 1.20 vanilla and then come back and you'll be able to install Forge. The other reason is if Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher are open, this also won't work. So you want to close both of those and then install Forge. But nevertheless, as you can see, successfully install client profile Forge. We can click OK and it will close out of the Forge mod loader. Now what we want to do is delete Forge because we don't need it and let's install our mods. To do that we want to open up Minecraft with Forge. By default it's most likely going to have Forge selected for you but if it doesn't I'll show you how to fix that and even if you don't have Forge I'll quickly show you how to fix that as well. So we can see for us Forge 1.20 Forge is selected here. Click play, click play again if that's the case for you but if it's not click on installations at the top. Then what we want to do is make sure modded is clicked. Unchecked modded, it's gone. We check modded, there it is. If we still don't have Forge here though, click new installation. You can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it simplegamehosting.com because that's an incredible place to host your Minecraft server. Modded vanilla plugins, whatever you want to do. And then click on the drop down box under version. Select release 1.20 here and boom, you now have Forge 1.20. I'm going to change resolution. You don't have to and then click create. Now we have this new simplegamehosting.com profile that has 1.20 Forge under it. Hover over this, click play, and click play again. Now Minecraft will open with Forge. That's the hard part. The hard part of getting Minecraft mods is installing Forge. The easy part is actually installing the mods. So here we are in the Minecraft main menu. As we can see, we have Forge because it's in the bottom left. Go ahead and click on the Mods button on the main menu, and then click the Open Mods folder button. Again, from the main menu, click Mods, and then click Open Mods folder. Now just drag and drop any mods you want to install into this Mods folder, including that utility mod, Terra Blender, that bombs of plenty required. Now, these aren't going to be in Minecraft, and they're not going to be until you quit Minecraft and then reopen it up in the Minecraft launcher. But guess what? You've already created your profile, all of that stuff, so it's probably already selected, but even if it's not, you can select it from the drop-down box next to the play button. You don't have to go through that whole installation process and stuff again. You just click this drop-down box, select Forge, and click Play. Now Minecraft's going to open up with your mods installed. Let's check them out. So if we go to mods here, we will be able to see that there is Terra Blender, Bombs of Plenty, and Journey Map. We close out of that and launch into Minecraft single player. We'll be able to confirm it there as well. So as we can see right away, we are in a biomes of plenty biome. And if we hit J on our keyboard, that's going to open up journey map. And we can see that is working as well as the mini map in the top right. So they have it. Your mods are installed and working. If you've got any questions about your mods, let us know in the comment section down below. And be sure to subscribe to the channel for more incredible content. Nonetheless, we will see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.